hey guys so welcome back to my channel i'm about to watch a movie i have some food salada love salada i don't know if they have it in all states in the u.s but it's really good um anyway so today is saturday night Ching, guys i went out all day i just got back home I haven't even undressed. I was gonna wear a robe, my PGs, and then I was like, let me just talk about this topic, okay? Guys, I'm still holding the mic, just cause. <laughs> I feel like anytime I put it here, I mean, we've had this conversation. So I wanted to talk about the topic of being a woman, being a single woman. Um, there is an influx of many single mothers, single women, who are getting their own houses, you know? And I think times have changed to the point where women are no longer waiting for the husband or the partner in order to get the white picket fence house, um, perfect house, basically. And I've been watching a lot of YouTubers, like young women in the 20s, getting their own houses and- Four single ladies are putting their hands up with their house keys. According to new data from the National Association of Realtors, single women are outpacing single men as home buyers. So as of 2023, the NAR's data shows that single women are second only to married couples with single women making up 17% of all home buyers and single men making up 9%. And I look around and I look at my own friends, my girlfriends, a couple of them are actually, you know, home owners and they're single you know some of them are divorced 2019 was the year that i was going to buy my first house and i remember having the conversation i think it was 2018 when i had a conversation with my dad and i and i told him i said i think i want to buy a house you know but my whole idea of buying a house was so that I will turn it into an Airbnb because I've always, you know, I always wanted to do it. Um, and I remember having the conversation with him. And at the time I had already invested in the school. You guys know I have, I co-own a, a school, a primary and kindergarten school in Cameroon. I had already launched my bridal boutique because I knew eventually I would be moving back to Cameroon, to Africa. And the reaction that he had, guys, <laughs> <laughs> and my dad is not that conservative he's actually i mean he has gotten better because i think he grew up in the age where men were providers so uh, my mom didn't have to work you know even when she was having her businesses on the side she didn't really have to because my dad always provided like 100 percent, like 99.9 percent. .9%, you know by the way i'm gonna give you some context so my dad is a civil engineer so he's built many houses, many buildings. Um, he's been part of big construction projects in Cameroon and outside of Cameroon and so forth. So anytime I'm thinking of, you know, doing something like building, like for example, the school, my dad is always my first consultant. Like I always go through him and I, and I get advice from him and stuff like that. So it just made sense that if I'm processing buying a house in America, I kind of wanted to share that with the, with him because I knew that in the next year or so, I would have moved back to Africa and I wanted the house, you know, to be making me money. I wanted to invest into having, you know, properties in, in, in the US. And my dad was not on board. Basically, he told me, you already have a business, you have a good job, um, you fly everywhere you desire. Now you want to have your own house. What is the man going to be buying? What is he going to be doing? Like if you actually a homeowner, how do you expect the man to pull up and be a man? So basically the conversation went that way. And I still remember that conversation because my dad, as much as he wants, you know, his daughters, because <laughs> with many sisters, he wants his daughters to do good. And all of us have done well. I think he just wasn't ready, you know? One of my sisters, she's married, um, three children, beautiful kids, love them. Um, and she has a house, you know, and with her husband and my dad. I mean, that's the picture he wanted to see. He wanted to see me in that picture. Now, fast forward, what, four years later, is my dad actually concerned whether I buy a house or I have my own house? He doesn't care. <laughs> guys you already know like in cameroon in africa i'm actually building an apartment complex because i'm always in the mindset of 
I need to build something that will be making me money. Then I can be investing on some other personal things. And I never felt, because you guys know, one day, I mean, you know, Cameroon, another day I'm in America and so forth. And I never felt like I needed a house house because I never knew exactly where I was going to land at the end of the day. But one thing that I always knew is that I wanted to invest in real estate. I wanted to have properties and stuff like that. So when I started building my apartment complex, oh my God, my dad was so happy. He was like, yes, you can make it bigger. You can have a second one, a third one. A... <sighs> and I looked at him one day and I said, what happened to the man who told me, if you build a house, what do you expect the man to, you know, like, how do you expect him to pull up? To be a man and then he was at oh place time have changed and i remember just cracking up because knowing my dad <laughs> that was a big deal for him so i've had this conversation with dear friends of mine who asked me you know like when i see a woman and then she has her own house i'm not gonna move into her house you know like who am i usually I'm, i mean let me give you some context i'm african <laughs> if you haven't noticed the accent i'm african and usually with those type of comments, I get it from African men. I just wanted to, you know, give you some context. And many of them just don't want to, you know, move into the woman's house. Because for them, it's like, this is not how you, you're a man. And unfortunately, I think women in the 30s, or now 20s even, they're like from all over the place, from different backgrounds. Everybody is just like, let me get my own house, you know? Why am I wasting money? you know, in an apartment when I can be investing, getting equity, whatever, whatever. Everybody has their own reason why they want to build or have a house. So you can really fight that. And now I'm seeing more men accepting moving into the woman's house, which was something that wasn't happening, you know, a couple of years ago. And even when it comes to like African men, which were like, like most African men were like, no, we're not doing that. I see more African men being comfortable or at least trying to be comfortable moving into the woman's house so when i grew up in africa and cameroon i experienced so many trauma <laughs> guys like i never knew how much this impacted me but i think seeing my aunties and my older cousins being thrown out of the marital homes just because the men were like this is my money my house and you don't like it you get out and i always ask my mom the question because at home when i was growing up with my parents i didn't see that right the dynamic was not like that and i'm not just saying that because it's my family my parents no my dad was really gentle and whenever that we get into an argument he would just leave so i never really experienced that type of trauma but i think when i used to go on vacation to my auntie's houses and things like that oh my god like they will actually lock us in the rooms just because, you know, the husband wanted to give my aunties a beating. And then next thing you know, she's been thrown out of the house, going back to her parents' house, who were my grandparents. And then the grandparents, I mean, my grandparents are like, no, you have to go back to your husband's house. And one of my aunties who actually experienced that type of trauma, she has her own house today and she got married recently like a couple years ago she got remarried again and the husband has his house she has her house <laughs> and yeah because she has children right like she wants to make sure that um even though she got married again late in her 40s um she wants to make sure that if anything goes south at least she has a house you know, that if her kids, you know, go to college and then life is tough, at least they have a house. So she still has her house. And I think the wave of women that we've seen today going after buying their own houses, I think there's also generational trauma to that. Um, I think just many women don't want to be told, get out of my house. And I think it had gotten to the point where women are like, I was told to wait for a husband. I was told to move into my husband's house if he has a house. If he doesn't have a house, I was told to, you know, let's partner and buy a house. And many women actually, you know, were thrown out of the houses. When it comes to Africa, I mean, the law is not, the law is gray. It's really gray. I mean, maybe I'm generalizing. When it comes to Cameroon, because that's where I grew up, um, there's really a gray area, right? Like it's the man, it's his house, you know, what can you do? 
But when it comes to like here, for example, I think many women, just the trauma of getting out of your house because of a divorce and then you have to sell it. And then if you have kids, then your children are also impacted. And now women are like, no, I'm going to have my own house. And I actually have a friend. She said, because she recently got engaged and the fiance moved in with her in her house. And she said, oh, this is my dream home. I'm not moving out. And I was wishing, that's what she said. I was wishing for somebody to come along and accept that he's going to move in. Because I know how tough it is for immense ego to be like, I'm not moving into that house. And anytime I'm, I'm always asking her, what if he says he wants to get a different house or he wants to, you know, you both to get a house. She always says, I will still keep that house. You know, I will put that property into an Airbnb or something, but that house will still remain mine. And I think the big wave of that we're seeing today of women getting their own houses and doing their own thing and just being comfortable and happy in their own home, um, not waiting for Prince Charmant, Charming Prince, <laughs> not waiting for Mr. Wright to get the house, I think it's also due to that, okay? Like you wait in your 20s and then in your 30s and then you're looking at the clock, right? You're like, okay, the men that I'm seeing out there, nobody wants to commit so i might as well just live my dream life and have my dream home and i think that's exactly what we're seeing and of course there's you know like there's always different reason why people get their own house whatever we know that so from talking to different women from different background and whether they're divorced or single and some of them even married you know many women are homeowners and they're like we're not gonna wait <laughs> like, like i'm not gonna wait you know to live my dream life and have my dream home because mr Wright is not coming along you know i can see him i've been looking i can see him so and many women are making that choice not because and i think the misconception that is being told outside is that women you know want to wear the pants you know they want to they want to be you know I mean, how can I put that? They want to challenge men. They want to be equal or blah, blah, blah. You know, I don't think that's the main reason. I just think if you have the means and you want to live your dream life, have your dream home, then do it. Men are doing the same thing. They've done the same thing for years, for, you know, ages. And this is just not a reaction from women being angry at the system. I think it's just hey, I'm 40, why am I still waiting, you know? When I started building my apartment complex, I knew because, oh gosh, even in Cameroon, people are still going to be questioning. Um, guys, you can't even imagine. I will hire workers, right? Because my brother is, is also a civil engineer, so he was on the team to building, I mean, on the construction project. And we will hire people, right? And I will come to the construction site and then i'll make sure things are done right and the guys working you know the builders they would think my husband is the one financing meanwhile i'm a single woman but according to them you know i can't be a single woman building an apartment complex right and i remember having the conversation because on Saturdays, you have to pay the guys, okay? So I was there on Saturday. My brother, I mean, was low on cash because I was supposed to pay him, whatever. Because I pay him and then he pays the workers, okay? His team. Um, so I showed up like around 4 p.m. I think it was because the guys were leaving around 5 p.m. I showed up around 4 p.m. And then I'm doing, you know, the. I mean, I'm counting the money with my brother. Okay, this is how much I was supposed to give you, blah, blah, blah. And one of the guys is like, hmm, madam, you were tough with money. Like, I can imagine how your husband, you know, how you are with your husband. And then I said, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, no, because the way I see you, the way you always come, the way you always check on the construction, you know, the materials that is being purchased, everything. I can tell you are tough with money, you know, hmm, your husband there. And I remember just looking at him. I said, who told you I have a husband? And then he said, bluntly, he said, but your husband is the one financing this thing now i mean he spoke in french we spoke in french because they're francophones but i have to do the translation for you guys but you know the the cam that camera that strong camera accent i was trying to do it whatever anyway and i remember just he said but your husband is the one financing blah 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 
And then I looked at him. My brother just smiled because my brother knew. He knew I was going to go off on him, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't because I was just tired of explaining myself. You know, even at the school, when they're asking who's the founder and then you have to show up and they look at you, they're like, nah, you can't be the one running this school because first of all, you look young and second of all, you're a woman. Um, yeah, so I've had people question that. Like, how come this, this petite madame, because I'm not, because I'm not, you know, whatever, old, whatever, but I feel like I'm in my thirties. So I deserve, I don't know. I'm, I'm grown, <laughs> but they still question it. Right. In Cameroon, they will still question you and they would think you probably either have a husband or you have a sugar daddy. Right. Or you have, I mean, by sugar daddy, I mean somebody who has money and that's where you are milking the money in order to invest in that project. And it's really tough for people to actually look at me in Cameroon. I'm talking about Cameroon. I'm telling you guys, like the way I've been questioned to the, like I've been questioned to the point where at some point I was like, I'm not going to answer that no more. You know, I'm, I'm the boss. I'm the one financing the project and whether you believe it or not, that's your problem. Like I'm done explaining myself. <sighs> anyway. Where was I going again? I just wanted to touch base on that because having conversation with men also, I think there's a misconception of like, oh, women want to wear the pants. No, we're just tired. <laughs> we're just tired. We just want to do what we want to do, live in the homes that we want to live in. And that's it. There's nothing deeper than that. We just want to be happy. That's all. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'll catch you in the next video. Don't know if it's going to be a vlog or a sit down again, but I'm going to drink this wine. At least finish this glass because I don't think I'm going to drink more than that. I'm going to eat my salad, watch some really dope movies, and then call it a night. Thank you guys for watching.